coverage continues on TNT. Along the banks of the Mississippi and in the shadow of the Gateway Arch, the Mets and Cardinals are set to go at it in game two of a three-game series at Busch Stadium in St. Louis as we welcome you to Tuesday Night Baseball on TBS. The Cardinals will welcome back Albert Pujols, Yadier Molina, Adam Wainwright. That's the elder crew. Francisco Lindor, rough 2021, but bouncing back in fine fashion through this season's first month. With Ron Darling, I'm Bob Costas. There is some history here, history that you were involved in in the 1980s for about half a decade. This was the premier rivalry, Mets and Cardinals, in the National League. You know what's great about it, Bob, is that both teams came at it in a little different way. If you think about the Mets team, they had a lot of star power, Strawberry and Hernandez and others, and what the St. Louis Cardinals always had during those 80s is the fastest players on the planet. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, Vince Coleman and Ozzie Smith and Tommy Herr and Willie McGee. Right. Whitey Herzog had them running all over that carpet. They were just a, a team that you had to contend 27 outs and somehow limiting the bases that they would take. They would just run wild. Speaking of 27 outs, before we roll the highlights here, Max Scherzer was on his game last night for the Mets. Struck out 10, allowed only two hits through seven innings. Miles Michaelis was not as overpowering, but he too threw shutout ball through seven. You know, Max Scherzer always seems to pitch well in St. Louis here. He's only 20 miles away is where he grew up in Chesterfield. He had it all working. The three-time Cy Young Award winner was just as intense. And Miles Michaelis, he said that Max had to match him because he went out there first and threw up seven zeros as well. So the Cardinals finally get into the Met bullpen in the eighth. Tyler O'Neill, a two-run single. They take a 2 nothing lead to the ninth. Looks like they might win a game where they had to face Max Scherzer and then this. How about defensive mistakes from the Cardinals? A team that had five gold glove players last year. Uh, McNeil with the double here to right field, sets up second and third. And then Dominic Smith with a ground ball, beats Gallegos to first. And the second and third, McNeil was on second. He scores the go-ahead run. So they were one out away from winning it. This is Brando, Brandon Nimmo with the finishing touches. Two-run homer, final score, Mets five, Cardinals two. That is a really tough defeat for the Cardinals to swallow. Again, a game that Max Scherzer starts against you, and you're one out away from winning it. Well, five unearned runs the Mets scored in that ninth inning. If you look at the game, though, Ali Marmol, the manager for the Cardinals, said, hey, listen, that's going to happen two or three times a year where you uh, fatally implode, as the Cardinals did last night. They'll be back at it today. You see a lot of the Mets last year, Francisco Lindor, was not up to his usual form. This year, though, off to a good start. I think if you're a free agent and you sign a big contract and you come to a New York team, you need a one-year mulligan, it seems. It seems it takes some time to get used to the media landscape that you're going to have to deal with. But this year, he has been everything that the Mets have wanted and is playing as the best shortstop in the game. Well, here's some evidence. Over this period of time, he's been a premier player, an MVP contender most seasons. Well, he's one of those guys that's a switch hitter, fields his position impeccably. But more importantly, he was a leader for the Guardians in Cleveland, certainly a leader here with the Mets. Nolan Arenado, the former Rocky, led the league in home runs three times, one in Colorado. He's won a gold glove all nine years he's been in the league, last night's crucial error notwithstanding. Last year, 34 homers and more than 100 RBIs for the car. What hasn't he done in his career when you think about it? When he came over to the Cardinals, there were a lot of naysayers that once he leaves Colorado, he's not going to be able to reproduce the same season. He certainly has, not only with the glove, but also with the bat. And he's become a mainstay with Paul Goldschmidt of this team. Joel Lindor and Arenado among the bold face names we'll be talking about in a bit when we come back to Bush Stadium. It'll be Chris Bassett, who did so well for the A's recently, starting for the Mets. Jordan Hicks out of the bullpen into the starting rotation, gets the ball for the Cardinals, and we get you back to the studio after this. MLB on TBS Tuesdays is brought to you by Jim Bean. Please drink responsibly. By Capital One, the official bank and credit card partner of Major League Baseball. What's in your wallet? And by Makita, rule the outdoors. <laughs> 